uh, images of the Orbiter, the shuttle coming in to uh, New York for the very last time. This is Enterprise, I believe. This is the uh, only one that didn't actually go into space. And uh, if you were with us a couple of weeks, in fact, three weeks ago, I think, remember many of you were telling us that this is the one that uh, came to do a tour of the United Kingdom uh, back in the early 1980s. Let's, have a qu let's just have a, a quick look. And uh, I presume those are birds that are waiting to take a closer look as well. As I was saying, it was a prototype that was used for tests, uh, and it took over. It was taken from Dulles International Airport in Virginia earlier on today. Uh, it's going to uh, land at JFK shortly. After this uh, city center spectacular, as it's being called by NASA, let's have a listen. Strapped to the top of a modified 747 Boeing jetliner. I'm flying quite low actually. It's going to fly over the Statue of Liberty, we're told. Up the Hudson River to the Tappan Zee Bridge, and then it's going to come back again. Quite a lot of people are already at JFK Airport in anticipation of the arrival. She is uh, a little bit behind schedule, but I'm sure that they will forgive her that. As I said, second time in as many weeks that a space shuttle has flown over some of the country's landmarks. Discovery it was uh, a couple of weeks ago that soared over the Washington Monument, the White House and the Capitol building before landing at Virginia's Dulles oh, International man. Airport right in Virginia. <laughs> oh, yeah! Had uh, been scheduled to fly on Monday and then again on Wednesday, but NASA pushed the journey back due to bad weather. And some fears of strong winds. But it, uh, as you can see, didn't deter the flight. It's heading back up river again now. It'll take a wee while, actually, once it's landed to be taken off the jetliner. But after that, it's going to be transported by barge up the Hudson River to its final resting place. Do you know where that is? Or should I tell you? OK, I'll tell you. It's Manhattan's Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum on the city's west, west side. 